Hi everyone and uh, welcome to the latest of my video blogs for Westwards Clubhouse. Very exciting to be the contributor for January 2022. Today I'm going to start another countdown. I love a countdown. Um, this is going to be the six things I've learned about life through writing. Now, uh, what I mean by that is that in the process of trying to understand what stories are, I've learned a number of things about life that I think are kind of valuable lessons, generally speaking. So I'm going to go through six of them, starting at six, counting down to one for the extra excitement of all that. And I'm starting today with number six, which is stories help us prepare for life. What a story is most of the time is someone trying to solve a problem or achieve a goal despite many obstacles. That's kind of the essence, the basic essence of most stories. For example, Cinderella's goal is to get to the ball, but it's also to escape the slavery or servitude of her stepfamily. Harry Potter's ultimate goal is to defeat Voldemort. Katniss's goal in the Hunger Games is to get out of the situation alive. Batman's goal in some of the stories is to defeat the Joker, but keep Gotham City safe, peaceful and just. That's his goal. So most stories are about someone trying to solve a problem or achieve a goal despite many obstacles. Now, what I've realized as a writer is that's not just true of stories. It's actually true of most novels, films, TV shows, short stories, but also plays, operas, musicals, reality TV shows, board games, video games, and sport. Each of those revolves around someone or a team of someone's attempting to solve a problem like win the game or win the competition with obstacles in their way, which are usually, say, the timer or the, the other team that's competing to win as well. So basically, when we sit down to be entertained, for the most part, what we do is we watch someone in the process of trying to solve a problem or achieve a goal against obstacles. That is most entertainment. When you think about how often you watch a movie, watch a TV show, play a video game, play a board game, play a game of sport, watch sport. Basically, when you think about it, you actually participate or watch this maybe thousands of times before you even reach adulthood. We love watching or being someone trying to solve a problem or achieve a goal despite many obstacles. But why? Why are we obsessed with this particular thing, this particular story formula. Why do we love it so much? Why are we so obsessed with it? I think the reason is that we prepare for life's challenges, like when we have a big problem or a goal, by practicing in our imagination. We practice for life by watching others solve big problems and achieve big goals or by doing that in our own sporting and game playing sort of contexts. And when we see someone achieve a goal or solve a problem under great difficulty, what that gives us is a little bit of hope. And hope is an incredibly valuable thing because when we're in trouble and when we are struggling, the thing that keeps us getting up and fighting on is hope. So when we've witnessed people achieving their goals and overcoming their difficulties thousands of times in our life, we end up with thousands of examples that give us hope. It's like little drops of hope. Every time we see something really come good in a story, we get another little drop of hope that goes into this reservoir of hope in the back of our brain. And the worst possible situation is to be struggling and have no hope. That's a really dangerous situation to be in. So stories and sport and games and uh, all those things I listed earlier, they all contribute to this little reservoir of hope 
that's in the back of our mind that comes in extremely handy when it's our turn to overcome a difficult obstacle in order to achieve a goal or solve a really tough problem. So one of the most important things I've learned about life through writing is that stories help us prepare for life. They are equipment for living.